In this video I will explain how to merge two entities. In this sample we're going to bring a vice model in and place it so it's holding our manifold block. The advantage of doing this is we can select the vice as part of the stock model and therefore see if we're machining too close to the vice and accidentally cut it. First I want to clear up some of this geometry. When I merge the two I will only move the vice and not my original manifold part. So I'm going to select level and I'm going to turn them all off except for my main part level and accept that selection. Select file, select file merge pattern, navigate to where you saved your vice file, select it and select open. The vice in the part will interfere that's normal. Go ahead and accept this again and fit your screen. There's several things we wish to do next. We wish to move our movable jaw out so that this face of our jaw is resting against the edge of our part. We also need to move our part so that this shelf we're going to machine sits above the vice jaw. Figure out the distance we need to move it, we can select Analyze, Distance. Now we'll select an edge of one of the entities in the top of the vise, and we'll select some geometry on the level of the shelf of our part. Okay. From here we'll see the part must be moved up a minimum of 0.313. So we'll accept that and we're actually not going to move the part up but we're going to move the vise down. We can close our analyze distance window. We'll just switch back to the isometric view and fit the screen so we can see it all. Select XForm, Translate, Select All. In the Select All window, select the blue color 9, hold the control key, and select the red color 12, accept these selections, and end your selection. So we need to move the vise down by a minimum of 313. I'm going to round that up to just half an inch. So enter 0.5 in the delta Z. My vise moves the wrong way because I didn't enter negative. So I can go back and add the negative or I can switch the direction. I can accept this. If it's warning me that I haven't moved the wireframe entities with the vise, I can just say no, they can be deleted later, or I can say yes, please move those with it. I'll clear my screen colors and once again look at it from the right side. So now we can see the shelf is above the vise top. Our next step is to analyze the distance from the bottom of the part to the top of the vice jaw. This needs to be a standard distance as it will be sitting on a standard size parallel. Select Analyze Distance. Select an endpoint of the vice. It may be difficult to select the geometry you desire. If it is, activate the only selection. In this case I'll turn on the color green and accept that, which will allow me to only get one of the endpoints of my part. Next I can go back to only and this time activate the color blue. Select a feature on the top of the vice base and now I know my distance the number doesn't make sense, the first thing we want to do is come down here and look and realize we've accidentally set the construction plane to the right side. We can close this window, click on our isometric view, which will set the construction plane back to the top, and reanalyze this feature. Select Analyze Distance, and again select a point on this surface of our vise. You may wish to push the Alt-S to turn the shading off if that helps, or leave it on. Uh, 
and I need to select next a point on my part. And what we see is we are 1.537 above the vice jaw. This is not a standard parallel size. We will move the vice the 0 0.037 of an inch to correct this. Close the analyze distance. Select the isometric view and fit the screen. The vise will, will need to be moved up the 0 0.037. Select the X form, translate. Again, select all the color red and all of the color blue. Accept our selection and your selection. And in the delta Z, we'll move the vice 0 0.037. Accept this. Clear your screen colors. Okay. If we look at the right side, we're still good. And if we reanalyze our distance, we should find we're one inch off the bottom of the vice. Sorry, we are inch and a half off the bottom of the vise, a standard parallel size, so we're happy. Your next step is to move the movable jaw of the vise, so this face of the jaw sits against the edge of our part. We can analyze that distance now, or we can include the analyze within our move command. So select X form, translate. This time select all of the color red and your selection. We're going to move this geometry in our Y axis. To calculate the distance, we can right click in the delta Y field and select the distance between two points. If we select the end of our part and an edge along the face of the vise. It moves in the positive direction and we can reverse it and accept OK. To see if this is correct, we'll look at the right side view. And we can now see that our jaw is sitting correctly on our part. I'll clear my screen colors. When you look at this, you realize I should probably put the part in the middle of the vise. So once again, we will move the vise in the delta x. To calculate the distance, we will analyze the length of our part. So we'll select Analyze Entity Properties. Select one of the green lines that represents the length of the part. We now see it is 3 and 1 8 inches long. And then we need to analyze the size of our vise. So we can choose Analyze, Distance, choose a point on this side of the vise, rotate around and choose a point on the opposite side of the vise. So the vise jaw is 5 and 3 quarter inches. Switch back to the isometric view we can now calculate the distance we wish to move or we can tell it to move from the center of the part to the center of the vise jaw. The difference between the width of our vise, 5 and 3 quarter inches, and the length of our part, 3 and 1 8, is 2 and 5 8 inches. Therefore, we wish to translate our vise in the positive x axis half of that. To do this, select X form translate. Select all the color blue 9. Hold control. Select all the color red 12. Accept these selections. End your selection. Once again we're going to choose move. And in the delta x we can tell that we wish to move 2.625 divided by 2. We've shifted our vice 1.3125. Accept this. Once again, answer yes. Clear your colors. 
and we now have our part sitting in the middle of our vise. A true representation of what we would see in the machine. We can also see that we should be able to avoid the top of the vise as we cut this shelf. 